I'm here today collecting signatures against SB 861, trying to stop breed specific legislation in California. I'm here because I'm terrified that on January 5th I'm going to discover I have no more homeowner's insurance as long as I keep okay. my two German Shepherds. Of course, there's also the fact that okay, I have good. friends that have Dobermans, that have Rottweilers, that have pit bulls, and it's going to be a pretty glum community when all those dogs wind up in the pound or put to sleep. I don't want to be in that. <laughs> Oh, he did really good. He liked the dryer, which was not normal sometimes. But <laughs> uh, he's really good. He's really calm. Oh yeah. Yeah, a lot of them are good. They're real people pleasers usually. Yes, 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 yes. Oh yes, you're cute. Yes, you're cute. Oh, he's beautiful. Thank you. my day to be friend. That's your friend. Uh, my name is Danielle Catlin. And uh, how do you feel about breed specific legislation? Um, I can see why some people would feel like it's a good thing, you know, maybe with um, pit bulls or, you know, stuff like that. But I think it's, it's difficult to label a, a single breed based off of a couple nasty seeds, you know. Um, I don't think all, all dogs in the one breed are, are necessarily bad. So I, I think it's difficult to, to do that. And I understand that they're taking even dogs like the Dobermans and things like that, that I actually have never met a bad one. You know, what they're using in the movies, they scare people, and so therefore they're going to be used as dogs that people shouldn't have in their county. And I, I don't think that's right. Uh, I have a Rhodesian Ridgeback. He's uh, 80 pounds <laughs> and seven months old and um, just a lover, you know. So if they're going to go off of weight, uh, I guess that would c cancel him out. But um, yeah, that doesn't make sense either. How do you feel about insurance companies that exclude breeds of dogs from coverage and make people choose between their homeowner's insurance or their dog? That's a difficult decision to make. Uh, we already knew what kind of dog we wanted to have, and he wasn't on the list that, that our homeowner's insurance had. But um, I think pit bulls, Dobermans, which I'd like to get one, and now I'd be inclined to not, not purchase one. But um, that's a difficult decision to make. I mean, if you're really taken with a breed and you've had it all your life, you may decide just to you know, not listen to your insurance carrier and get it anyway, or you have to pick a different insurance carrier because I'm sure they all have different ideas, but there's uh, probably the three major ones that they would have would be the Pitbull, Doberman, and uh, Rottweiler. So that's a difficult decision. Okay. What if your insurance company said we're not covering Rhodesian Ridgebacks in, in, uh, anymore? What would you do? I would have to look for an insurance company that did because I'm not going to give up my dog. And I know he's a good dog, so... What if all the insurance companies said that because there was a state law that affected them? We would still have our dog. We wouldn't be giving up. He's a member of the family. When you make that commitment, you don't just decide based on someone else's ideas that you're not going to care for that individual anymore. That's silly. Jared Burnett. And uh, tell me about your dog. I have two American Pit Bull Terriers. One of them is three years old. The other we... Uh, kind of rescued, half took away from our neighbors. Um, we've had him for about six months, just had him registered as a therapy dog through Delta Society. When did that happen? Uh, about two and a half, three weeks ago. And uh, tell me more about the circumstances that he was living in before he found you. Uh, the neighbors that had him before, they were looking for a dog to protect their backyard. They wanted a very mean, <clears throat> mean dog. So they liked the looks of the American Pit Bull Terrier. Unfortunately, they had no clue what it took to raise any type of an animal. When we took possession of him, he was approximately 22 to 25 pounds. And now when he took him into the vet, he just weighed in at 58 pounds. He had no hair from about middle of his back through halfway down his back legs. Uh, now he has all his hair back. 
At one point, he had a broken leg that was never uh, mended, and he worked, walks fine on it now, but he has a big bulge where the, the bones didn't heal correctly. I work in a very large veterinary practice in the area and we see about 200 dogs a day and um, I just wanted to say that I think that the myth of pit bulls being bad or evil dogs is ridiculous. In the four and a half years that I've worked there we have not had a single employee bit or attacked by a pit bull but plenty by other dogs <laughs> so that was my piece about pit bulls being good dogs. <laughs> And can you please say and spell your name? Uh, my name is Sarah Adams, S-A-R-A-H-A-D-A-M-S. This whole game is, was written by Jackie Spears. And Jackie Spears, when you, if you go and check out who contributed to her campaign, they were all, and I mean all, either insurance companies or insurance providers. Okay, and what do you think of three specific legislation? It's to overturn... Uh, I think it's ridiculous. I mean, I think that, you know, the current government legislation has tried to pull the wool over the eyes of you know the citizens for you know consistently for the past few years and now it's I can't believe it's come this far to the point where now it's you know dealing with our animals too. I think it's unbelievable. I think it's wrong. I there we go. <laughs> right. Does he know how to hold yet? Uh no. No? Okay. Thank you very much. My name is Marin Boronok. Well, what I'm doing out here is helping to collect signatures um, because I believe that breed-specific legislation is not fair to the dogs or the owners. Uh, we had a lobbyist come and tell us at the Woodland Mall that our efforts were futile, that there was no way we were going to collect enough signatures. And I've had people, as soon as they found out it was a bill to protect dog owners, they immediately thought it was overturning a pit bull ban and got in a huff and walked away because uh, they support the eradication of pit bulls. Lots of positive responses. Lots. Uh, most people that we have talked to about this law do not believe in breed specific legislation. They think it's stupid and they want to do away with it. Uh, what's it for? Uh, this is, we're trying to overturn Senate Bill 861, which was recently signed into law by Governor Schwarzenegger. Uh huh. And what it does is it allows communities to enact breed specific legislation. And what you're trying to overturn that? No, I don't want to sign that petition. I'm actually in favor of that. May I ask why? I'm concerned about some of those breeds that are bred specifically for hurting other animals, hurting other creatures, okay. hurting other people. Would yeah. you be willing to uh, let me show you some information? Probably not. Would you sign a petition, sir or ma'am? We don't nip you. You don't have to state why. What is uh, about? This is about uh, Senate Bill 861. And um, there's no exception for service dogs or canine oh, officers. Oh, yeah, you need the service dogs. Right. Don't you? Under this law, people, people with service people animals or show dogs. Huh? Deaf people might find them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some people just use them to help them, period. Exactly. Because I read, a, I read something about that. Okay. Exactly. Uh, what county are you from? Contra Costa County. Contra Costa. Yeah. Thank you very much. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> We're doing a documentary about it. Would you want to say a few words for the camera about why you're signing the petition? Oh. <laughs> well, you have people that need dogs that everybody don't need a, a CNI dog. You need a dog to help you just to get around, period. Mm -hmm. A lot of people do. Okay, and then it's good for pets, too, for people in the nursing home. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I work in a nursing home, and, and sometimes people bring their pets in, and it's good therapy for them. 
and spill out these two lines here. Both of these lines? Yes. And thank you very much for your okay. support. Eric, don't you want to sign your name? No. What? No. You never know. You might need a, you might need a dog to help you one day. There are, right now, there are only two insurance companies in California that will cover me with the German Shepherd. Really? Yes. I have the one of the two. And if, well, if I lose those, I lose the dog. What's funny is that even people who are signing and supporting overturning the law, they still support banning pit bulls. I know. I know. Every other breed is okay, but pit bulls. And every pit bull is alike, apparently. I wish to have the Jackie versus Jackie um, debates, and I think it should be That's widely big, televised, uh, which Jackie Spears and I will uh, discuss Senate Bill 861. There's no exception for working animals such as canine officers or service dogs for the disabled. Are you in Sacramento County? Yeah. Please pass the word. There's not a lot of people that know about this. Okay. The guy behind you, would he sign too? Yeah. It says over 4.5 million dog fights are reported Thank each you. year. Only 10, mm. point, 10, or 10 to 20 of these incidents are fatal. You know how you sign a petition, big of a ratio sir? that is? That's like saying everybody in this world could bite someone and 10 people could die. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That's Let stupid. me see the statistics. <laughs> Look, 4.5 million dog bites are reported, and only 10 to 20 of them are fatal. About the uh, about pit bulls? And no, no there are no dogs. pit bulls on the law. Everybody makes that assumption, but it allows any city or county to uh, write ordinances against any breed. Okay, yeah, no, I just heard about the ones they did in Denver. And so. Pit bulls and pit bull breeds, but they're right. very indiscriminate about how they did it. They've already caught a number of places where it looked like a pit bull, and so they you went to go destroy it. And that's the thing, they can just destroy the animal Makes without any record. That's not right. No, so what county no, I was Yellow. Can I get you to say a few words specifically about what you feel about Denver's law? Uh, I don't particularly care for it. The idea of any specific breed being more dangerous than another is just completely ludicrous. Uh, the fact that, in addition to that, the people who are enforcing it have almost no knowledge of what the specific breeds they're enforcing actually look like is also pretty pathetic. So, um, yeah, I don't think it would be a good idea to get that started here at all on any breed. It's the owners who need to actually be policed, not the uh, not the animals themselves. <laughs> My name is Alex Medeiros. I don't believe that they have the right to say what kind of dog we own or don't own. I don't agree with that. What about certain breeds being more vicious or dangerous than others? I agree there is, um, but I also, and I agree for, you know, like you said, if there's, they have a felon or something like that, um, <clears throat> for cases like that, but just for people without instances like that, I don't feel that they should um, ban. And I've known many pit bulls that are not aggressive. It's all in how you raise them a lot of the time, so. And uh, can you tell me what breed this is? She's a Great Dane. And are you aware that Great Danes have been involved in human fatalities? 
I'm sure they have, especially considering their size. Mm -hmm. And what would you say if a county decided to ban Great Danes because to limit fatalities? Um, if it was our county, I would move. I would petition for it not to happen. Mm -hmm. What about, you know, insurance companies exclude certain dogs from coverage? So if it's only certain dogs, you can't get home on those insurance? Oh, no, I haven't. I, I know they ask us when we go for insurance what kind of dogs we own, but I've never heard that they exclude. Um, I was talking to Jackie just a few minutes ago, and we were making the observation. I mean, there are people with dogs walking by and refusing to sign, and we know a lot of the people that are walking by us and refusing to sign our dog owners. Are they going to remember this day when they walk by us and refuse to sign a petition to protect their own rights? The governor is qualified to make our life decisions for us. County. Well, Allie. 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 Humane Society statement on dangerous dogs and breed specific legislation. You guys know about cameras. Film review. Oh. Okay. To what? Uh, let me take a look at this and then okay. uh, go online for more information, I guess? Yes. Okay. Cool. I, I don't know. Lots of about. links there. Okay. All right. Well, thank you very much. They're paper thin, like I just hammered them completely off. How long have you been on your feet? Uh, about about a month, I think. <laughs> Hasn't it been? I'm either teaching at school or I'm walking around getting people to sign petitions. Would you sign a petition, ma'am? Or what? Well, Governor Schwarzenegger signed a law recently that allows communities and counties in California to enact breed-specific legislation. I have an aggressive cat. <laughs> you know, what could happen next? I'll read the petition and if it, it sounds good to me, I'll sign it. So that's pretty, it's up to them, subjective, as to what's uncontrolled and what's irresponsible. I'll sign. I say basically that I can't have Lucy because she's part of it. Here's a website where you can go to get more information. So if you can help us get the word out, that would be awesome. Okay, thanks. Would I do you want to say a few words about why you signed the petition? Um, I just don't feel it's right for anybody to try and put regulations on what kind of breed I, I can own. Oh, I see. Do you own a dog? Yeah, I have two. I have a chocolate lab and I have a, a red nose pit lab mix. And where did you get your dog? Um, the lab from a breeder and the uh, the pit lab mix we rescued. Can you talk about their examples? Um, they're, they're really good dogs, really people friendly. They love other dogs. Um, they're awesome. They're just they're great dogs. They're two of the best dogs I've ever had. Very well trained, uh, off leash, hundred yards away. They're on pure hand commands. So they're just some really good dogs. He's real, real loving. Are you aware that some insurance companies have restrictions on breeds that you can own? Yes. Uh, is your insurance company? Um, yes. Uh, yes. Yes. You don't know about it? No. Okay. <laughs> I work for the large rescue oh, center. Okay. Oh, dear Lord, there's a lady with a camera. I don't like cameras anymore. People keep looking at me in cameras. Why are you filming us? I'm doing a documentary. Oh. Came up here and gave her a I actually managed to get one of the um, Katrina dogs who united with his last week. Oh, wow. <laughs> and he's a big boob. <laughs> I signed it because Arnold Schwarzenegger signed the law. <laughs> and every law he's signed so far has been crap. Sable? Sure. Are you in Sacramento County? Yeah. Okay, great. Sure. If you fill out both lines? Sure. And would you want to say a few words about why you signed the petition? Um, well, actually, I was encouraged by a poli sci teacher years ago to sign all petitions because it puts things on the ballot regardless of my uh, intent. And that's something that needs to be done. Okay, are you from South County? Yes, I am. Oh. So we fill out both lines, please. We're trying to get that overturned and put on the ballot. I think it's a little overboard. Uh, do you have it on? No, I don't. And so why do you think it's overboard? 
I just think the whole thing about breeds being mean or this or that has been blown out of proportion having worked for veterinarians in my past. It's the dog and it's how the owner treats it. It's not the breed itself, I don't think. Uh, how long did you work with For about six years. Did you ever get bitten by a dog in that time? No. No? Uh, have you, can you tell me something about your experiences in terms of, do you notice any particular breed tendencies in aggressive dogs while you were working with them? Uh, no, um, the most aggressive dog I ever had, what, what, it was a um, German Shepherd that just wanted to play and jumped up on me and knocked me over. And I cleaned kennels and did that type of work with the dogs. I just, I never had any trouble whatsoever. This was the dumbest law ever invented. Maybe uh, a pit bull, maybe, but all the rest, no. Just what I've seen in the past. Yes, I have. Uh, my brother had pit bulls, and the runts are good, but if it ain't a runt with a pit bull, it can be very aggressive, mean, and kill. What do they keep the pit bulls for? As a family pet, but if you didn't know the dog, it would kill you or attack you. He was kind of aggressive himself, and he thought it was okay. There you go. Have you noticed any, have you met any nice pit bulls that were not runs? No. What if I told you I had a pit bull that was not from runs and is now a therapy dog in one It would turn on you. Yes. Well, that I don't know. I'm not an expert. I know my cocker spaniel might nibble your finger, but not lock on and tear your face off. I hear they do. Like I said, I'm not an expert. But. Veterinary studies have shown that there is no mechanism in a pit bull's jaw that enables it to lock. Well, and bite tests have shown that the stories about them having uh, s severe bite pressure such as 1,600 or 25 PSI, yeah. that's bogus too. Really? Mm-hmm. Yes. That make me nervous though. And I think a lot of people around us, pit bulls make me nervous. So when they walk down the street and the stories have been told, there's so many breeds of dogs that are good to have a dog that that is known to kill people in San Francisco and other places is wrong I think now, the dogs that killed the woman in, in uh, San Francisco what breed were they pit bull no they were not they were Risa canarios a lot of pit bull attacks when they're investigated turns out that the dogs are actually not pit bulls they were other breeds that were misidentified okay I'm just stating that's why I signed it. That's how I feel. She said there wasn't a pet bull, but the news said there were pet bulls. So, I gotta go. Say hi, Mom. Each person has two lines, you know, a print line and a sign line and address and all that junk. I have a pit bull and it would lick a blister on you before it would do anything else to, you know, it was, my, my niece would get it and pull its lip over its head and it'd run <laughs> in the bushes before it would, it would do anything aggressive, you know, Is it, I mean, it's all how you raise the dog, you know, it's, it's the people, not the, not the animals. You know what's going on with all the breeds, and I do like all animals, but I sometimes wonder if it's not the owner that's, that's not taking care of the animals properly. Um, leaving them unattended or where they can um, escape from and don't make their neighbors uh, warned about maybe the dogs are a little bit aggressive. But uh, as far as what's going on in Chicago, I think they're trying to have that breed banned. Pit bulls. Um, I can't say that I'm for or against it. Again, I sometimes feel that it's the owner that doesn't uh, that doesn't properly take care of and or or uh, let people know about the breed. And do you know if they have in fact banned pit bulls in Chicago? Um, do I remember? You know, I honestly do not know. Uh, 
for sure. <laughs> I was last in Chicago this morning. So yes, I guess maybe they have, in fact. I, I honestly got I really I really don't know. Um, do you know any pit bulls? Do I know any pit bulls? Actually my son brought one home. It's probably been five to ten years ago that was a stray. And we did not keep it because we had no knowledge as to who the owner was prior to that and whether the dog had been, again, trained to be friendly or aggressive. How was the dog itself? The dog was very docile. At that point, he was sitting in our backyard. Um, we just had him, uh, again, tied to a tree because we did not know, but could not find the owner, and my son did want to keep him, but again, having no knowledge about the animal, where it came from, how it was trained, I was, personally, I was a little bit afraid. Do you know Denver, Colorado was banned pitbulls? Mm, um, I did not know that. And uh, how, you, do you have any opinions one way or the other? Would you be for or against the ban of uh, pitbulls or any other? Well, from what I've heard in Chicago, in uh, where we live, 50 miles south, um, I would probably be for it because I've heard a lot of negative things about them. Well, what kind of things have you heard? Um, just that they seem to um, be aggressive for no reason. Uh, again, children going from one house to another to either collect for magazine subscriptions or sell something and didn't seem to be doing anything that would cause the dog uh, any harm and the dog just uh, um, showed aggression towards children and or individuals. Have you heard about other breeds uh, that have been involved in human fatalities? Um, Actually, I have not. I, I, I've heard of other uh, aggressive breeds, such as Dobermans, but again, I knew uh, we had friends that had a Doberman. It was the sweetest thing that you could ever want to see. Uh, so is your opinion formed by the media, or what you personally experience? Um, my opinion is probably formed by what I've seen on TV. I've not personally experienced you know, anything with, well, I'll tell you what, well, I've only seen one aggressive dog, and I was doing absolutely nothing. Believe it or not, it was a beagle. And I was standing in my own yard and the beagle came at me and I, I was doing absolutely nothing. So I, I think it can be any breed of dog, not, not just pit bulls.